welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is the Astrology General Horoscope reading for Scorpio, October 2017. And as you can see, I'm sitting nice and comfy on my couch, and I'm all here warmed up because otherwise my throat is very, very scratchy. It's I was choking at the very end of the last video, trying to say goodbye. So I'm trying to cut these short. I had to take a break in between and rest my throat. So I'm back. Dear Scorpio, this is your year. I, I just am so, so very happy for Scorpions. I'm a born Scorpion ascendant, even though my hope astrology chart is Sagittarius based but yes scorpions <laughs> okay now let's start from the 5th of October when there's a full moon in Aries this is happening in your sixth house okay so you're probably um, needing to contemplate and think very much on how things have been flowing at the workplace, how your emotional connections have been with work colleagues, okay? Um, very possible that um, you, you're needing to look deep within, okay, on, on the things that don't serve you, um, the thoughts and emotions that do not serve you in regards to your work and in, in regards to getting things done okay maybe you have some uh, blockages there because now this full moon in Aries it's like a new a new chapter or a new leaf of how you're perceiving um, your emotional connections to your work or how you are perceiving who you are in regards to your connection with your work, you know, emotionally based. Um, it's, it's, um, moon has to do with emotions and also our thoughts and what kind of people we and situations we are attracting at the workplace just due to the thoughts that, that we allow to take it, you know, take rain within our brain. <laughs> that rhymes and when we start to understand that there are certain things that are not of our highest good which can um, our thoughts can cause anger or emotional upheaval within ourselves in regards to some things that are happening with work okay so maybe um, colleagues, um, maybe there's some kind of blockages with colleagues. Some things here have to be let go so that you can allow um, more better flowing of, how do you say, managing your emotions at the workplace or with colleagues, okay? Let go of certain ways of how you perceive um, certain situations that happen at work, okay? Maybe you're always thinking that you are um, just like, if, you, if you've been grudging or begrudging people at the workplace, it's time to let these things go so that you can open yourself up to a better matrix within the workplace, okay? And that's this full moon wanting to to start a new chapter um, in how how things have been flowing, you know, when you think of moon, you think of water and the flow of water and and um, just wanting wanting to change and you know make a different current, you know, change. It's it's just turning the chapter having a new a new chapter within the workplace okay within your daily activities or your charitable ways with people okay 
So that's what's happening with Scorpio um, after the 5th of October when you have this full moon. On the 10th of October, and also the full moon is definitely um, um, blessing you to have more work and, and emotional connections with your colleagues and work working colleagues and if you are out of a job you should definitely be blessed with the opportunity to have a job okay that you like I said you have to find out what those blockages are within you to let them go so that you can manifest something much better within your matrix in regards to work and daily activities and your connections with your colleagues, work colleagues. On the 10th of October, Jupiter enters Scorpio. You're the king. The party's in your house. Okay. Or the queen. <laughs> now, this is really going to bless your whole astrology chart from the first house all the way to the 12th house. Jupiter is the planet that blesses and expands um, every constellation he walks into. But yes, it depends also whether he gets along with the Lord of that house. Okay. For instance, Mars is, is the boss or the Lord of Scorpio. This is his house. And when Jupiter comes in, he opens the door and says, Hey, I'm so happy to see you. Come on in, buddy. Mikasa is Sukasa. And Jupiter comes in and he's just feeling really good. And they're best friends. And so Mars says, do your thing, man. Whatever you want. You can just, you know, I let you take the reins. You, Mikasa is Sukasa. So Jupiter is really able to bless you in regards to who you are, okay, redefining who you are, redefining how you, your appearance, your characteristics, um, going deeper into spirituality and wanting to dig deep in the facts of, of um, the other side whether God really is or or whether it's such things as UFOs or angels or all these types of ideas go through your head. Another thing is you could be very interested in not just life after death, but things hidden underground. Maybe um, you're into more wanting to collect um, um um, crystals or things of that sort, you know, um, with this Jupiter entering Scorpio. Now, Jupiter here is going to want to bless and heal every aspect of your life. Um, he's going to want to, I mean, he's definitely looking at that seventh house. Now, Jupiter doesn't, <laughs> wasn't very happy um, when, when he was sitting in Libra because Jupiter has has one agenda and, and Venus was is the lady of that house and and Venus says these are my rules, this is how things work in my house and Jupiter's like always was trying to break the rules and, and she would always catch him and say, No, 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 no. It's this way and and so there was a tug of war and so Jupiter didn't get much done <laughs> within the seventh house but here Jupiter is really um, able to bless the scorpion people moon sun and ascendant okay expanding if it's your ascendant it's just really um, um, expanding all things that have to do with your life. If it's sitting next to your son, it's definitely making your ego, making you feel strong, making your um making you feel like you can conquer the world and uh, making you feel very healthy, your blood flowing, feeling very healthy here. Um and definitely 
Um, she, it definitely blesses you to have benefactors within your life. A benefactor, some um, money is flowing to you from other resources very easily. Okay, so if you're wanting to have a bank loan to buy a house or so, this is the year to make your dreams happen, okay? Because Jupiter is aspecting, um, Jupiter is aspecting not only the seventh house, but also um, the ninth house and the twelfth house. Your lucky house, okay? So you're definitely being blessed this year. And that Jupiter is going to be here for the next 13 months until November. So, so in the beginning of the 10th of October, <laughs> it's your year, okay? It's you're it, you know. Um, you're 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 being blessed the most, or you should be blessed the most. On the 14th of October, and it definitely should be showing that. You know, if you have any kind of blockages in regards to sexuality or um, in your marriage or so, it should be helping. And now, I, you really have to look at your own astrology chart. If you have other planets sitting here, it can change things. You know, like if Venus is sitting here or Pluto or Uranus. You know, it can cause some trouble <laughs> or not manifest as much as you wish, okay? And, um, yeah, so, um, you would like, if you would like a consultation with me, <laughs> then you know how to get a hold of me. Just look down below, um, the description background below, or if you're a following me on Facebook, um, Horoscope with Cindy, then you, there you have links to easily get in contact with me. On the 14th of October, Venus is entering Libra, blessing your house that has to do with um, deep spirituality, but also Libra, Venus here in Libra does could, you know, invite a secretive kind of relationship, um, you know, love behind the scenes, or, um, an affair, something secretive here, um, or it could be even like a secret contract, because uh, Scorp Scorpio people could be detectives or could be people, they're very secretive kind of people, um, and um, even if they have a love or they wouldn't want to, you know, tell the, you know, they might want to keep it under wraps for a while, um, yes, it's just uh, Venus here, though you could be falling in love with someone who is a foreigner, if you are already married, then it could be that you're wanting to get more kinky behind closed doors with your mate, or go out of town, go uh, not just out of town, but you have the chance to um, um, travel or um, enjoy other cultures. Um, wanting to perhaps go to a restaurant and, and enjoy the food of other cultures. Just Venus has a lot to do with indulging <laughs> or, or wanting to go with your wife or your lover to some secluded area, just you and the person, candlelight din dinner and, you know, get all nice and steamy <laughs> and romantic together. Um, so the 17th of October, we have Mercury entering Scorpio. Now Mercury is, is this planet of intelligence and of communication. So if you're wanting to do some kind of a presentation and look your smartest, the, after the 17th of October, 
you know, the floor is yours. <laughs> you can be a salesman. This is really um, strong in salesmanship, being able to um, get your um, thoughts across very intelligently and very um, um, diligently. Um, yes, Mercury definitely helps you to get any kind of, of contracts that you wish to get, especially contracts in regards to um, bank loans, insurance payouts, or or inheritances, other people's money, okay, having to sign on the dotted line to make that happen. On the 19th of October, there's a new moon in your 12th house, so you may, you may um, be having to do like um, new opportunities to do work behind the scenes, secret of work behind the scenes, or or a secret affair, definitely um, contracts behind the scenes, secretive contracts, or um, like I said, falling in love with someone who is um, a foreigner from, from where you live, who lives abroad. <laughs> and then on the 22nd of October, Mars enters Libra, so even more energy. And Mars and Venus, that's really sexy energy here. Because I did say Venus entered Libra on the 14th of October, and then Mars follows on the 22nd of October. And so that's a lot of, like, shades of gray, shades even darker when Mars goes in. <laughs> shades of gray, um, how do they say it? A darker shades of gray when Mars goes in, like... <laughs> okay, so um, Mars here, you have to be careful. Um, looks actually like pretty good energy depending on your own birth chart. Who knows what you have on your own birth chart, but Mars can cause trouble, okay? Mars can land in jail. You want to be careful. You know, if <laughs> when you think of, of all this energy in the 12th house, you think of someone going to a whorehouse and wanting to pay, you know, to, <laughs> and, and, and then you could get in trouble, I don't know, but it's not like that for everyone, but Mars in the 12th house, the 12th house ha has to do with secluded areas, but also prison, and depending on your own birth chart, you just want to be careful. You want to be careful that you're not getting yourself into trouble with lovers, or they're calling the cops on you, or saying, you know, I was dating him, and, and, and they try to swindle you, and and say that they raped me, or whatever, and they, you know, I don't think it's going to be like that for um, Scorpio people, because Jupiter is blessing you and taking care of you. Nevertheless, nevertheless, everyone has their own birth chart, and hopefully you don't have any bad planets sitting here in a 12th house, because you got a lot of energy coming in here, and don't want to scare anyone, but, um, when I'm saying you're getting all these blessings and then a month later you're going to say, you know, that Cindy astrologer was just full of it because I'm in jail now. And that's all because you could have some bad planets in the 12th house. Otherwise, if everything's cool, then you should be really enjoying a lot of sex <laughs> behind the scenes or an affair even. <clears throat> okay, so then on the 23rd of, let's see what time it is. Oh, on the 23rd of October, Sun enters Scorpio. That is your, this is just really good energy. Your blood is pumping, you're feeling strong, your ego is really strong. You feel like the king. You feel vitalized and feeling really, really good. And um, now some people may have 
may have Pluto or Uranus in Scorpio, depending on how old you are. And then there's a whole new story on, on that energy, okay? Because some Scorpio people with Pluto, they, if they are married, they're possibly going through a divorce, you know, or, or, they're, have, or they're feeling a lot more jealous, you know, with all this energy in Scorpio. So be careful not to feel like you're going to just fall over dead with jealousy. Do your um, um, Jupiter mantras uh, and Pluto mantras. You can find them for free on YouTube. So, hugs and kisses. That was your general horoscope reading for the month of October 2017, dear Scorpios. Until next time, goodbye.